Hello everyone, welcome to this new Touch Designer tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to see the next uh, chapter of the Generative Design book. The chapter is called um, Movement in a Grid. So we're going to end with a <coughs> network like this one. Uh, it's uh, very basic but uh, the the thing is to how to use it with um, textures and also in with the perfect reproduction of it in Touch Designer from the processing code. So um, yeah, um, uh, I'm going to put this aside. This is the the page of the code, and I'm going to open a blank uh, file. We're going to first go up a level, and here we're going to go to look page background top background top sorry a uh, point slash bg and a uh, layout if we take a look in the processing code we can see that we have a canvas of 600 by 600 okay uh, so this is very uh, basic so we are using a circle soap oops circle soap uh, uh, um, here from here we can put a uh, geo we can put a camera too and we can't forget or material in this case we're going to use a line we drag it to the mat uh, to the geo and then we add a render this uh, render needs to be a uh, parent dot width and parent dot height and pixel format 32 bit float then we add a transform and finally a new that we need to rename to bg and then we split screen and select panel so going back to the processing code and the interaction also we have a um, grid of 20 tiles and uh, each one is instancing a circle these circles have a width that is variable with the uh, uh, movement in y and a position that is a variable in x and also if we click we have this uh, change of the seed and that's it so okay let's start first we're going to put our background in white okay um, um, mm -mm. Uh, next step I think we can uh, declare our variables so we're going to put a constant this constant needs to be child count and 20 then we need to use a painter for the interactions so we have three interactions that is the select this is this, this is click and inside you and inside me okay so from here I'm going to select again to separate so first I'm going to use select and I'm going to rename to seed and I'm going to here attach oops then uh, count oops uh, what's happening sorry for that account and then we add a merge okay and from this merge we sell we put our final null okay so we have the, the thing for the seed then from inside U and inside V we can change the names to mouse X and mouse Y. From here we need to change the math, the uh, start position from the Y uh, and so we change the range from range from uh, 0 to 1 to 1 to 0 and 
we change the scope to mouse Y so only mouse Y will be affected by this change and finally we add another mat this is because we are in a normalized value for all position but we need the value uh, of the width of the, of the canvas so we need to multiply this for two parent dot width and yeah that's it we finally merge it to the null and also our constant Ding. okay so we are good from here then uh, we can start instancing these these guys so we're going to uh, make a component with uh, the ramps so so we need to uh, make a UV map and if we make this as a component this will help us to with uh, Fury tutorials este, with um, that needs this uh, kind of map or or grid made by these pixels so it, it's very easy we use here a flip oops sorry a flip flip and then we put a reorder oops sorry and connect the flip the flip needs to be bottom left and input 2 on the output screen in common page we select uh, 32 bit float rg and finally we add a null this null needs to be out we change the name to pose and that's that's the thing with the uv map with this so we can um, collapse select we change name to uv map and then we need to uh, export this value to this uv map because we we have another size so the best thing to do this is to use the customize component we have a custom page and we need a resolution as our uh, parameter we only change to uv because we need two values and we click add part we close select custom and we see resolution so now we can export this guy to resolution to both of them and now we can here select the parameters to make it visible go inside and on the common page put this guy as reference e change here to b resolution uh, resolution b so now we have the 20 by 20 grid we need okay so the next thing is we're going to um, instance this instance let me see mm -mm, oops position translate x and translate y so they are stuck that's because uh, our uv map is always done in a zero one or in a normalized uh, value so we need to multiply this to fit it to our um, canvas so in the multiply we put parent dot width and now we can see them because they are um, here and our camera is isn't capable of view them so we need to uh, change the projection to orthographic the ortho to bottom left and finally the ortho width to parent dot width and now we can see them in a perfect way so okay uh, we are almost there so if we go back to the code uh, one of the interactions if we uh, remember is the uh, the variable width of our um, sorry uh, yeah the variable width of our circles and uh, that is given by this this expression mouse y divided by 15 so we can do that uh, we export uh, mouse y to radius and divided by 15 so oops so now we have 
or circles but if we look they are bigger than the ones uh, we have here and that is because um, this uh, ellipse ellipse takes these values as width and not a radius so we need uh, to divide it by 2 to have the value of the radius and now we will be good so I'm going to copy and paste here and now they look uh, a little bit better so we can go also to our line and we check we check here circle color is black circle alpha is 180 and so we can start with that uh, um, line near color black line far color we don't need it and night near alpha we divide 180 divided by 255 because uh, this is taken as rgb uh, space color so Mm, we are almost there mm, 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 mm. Uh, here we have the stroke wave interaction most y divided by 60 and so we can export that to the width far and so most y oops divided by 60 okay and finally we change here this flag is because we don't have blending enabled but now we have it and we are almost there we only need the interaction for the um, x exposition so this interaction adds a value of minus minus mouse x to mouse x divided by 20 in random so uh, we can interpret that as um, sorry as uh, minus one by to one uh, random values and then multiplied by mouse x divided by 20. so uh, something that we we can do here is that we can uh, from here add a noise oops sorry this noise uh, we can connect from here so we don't need to put again the script to have the resolution we want so we need to change here first to noise then to monochrome of amplitude uh, sorry offset to zero and amplitude to one so here we are going to minus one to one and nearest pixel and 32 bit float rg uh -huh. and maybe here a random then from here we need to use a math to make the multiplication that will be parent dot width divided by 20 i think yeah 20 so now every value it will be affected by this uh, value but uh, I forgot what we need to divide by 20 is is this mouse y value sorry mouse sex value so we will drag it here oops sorry Check reference not null one mouse sex divided by 20 okay and then uh, as you can see it will go zero to uh, the values if they are positive or negative they will be always uh, multiplied by this value so to visualize this we need here to put an add and connect it then here near pixel this this guys needs to be all near pixel and now we are almost there another thing we can uh, change here is that uh, i think this uh, value is also taken as something like uh, width 
so if we want the right value we need to divide this by 2 but needs to be this dividing value well we need to be divided by 2 so now we have almost the same look that the processing code so finally the next thing here is to put this seed interaction to the seed of the noise so now we have our interaction and our sketch done okay so as you can see it's something very very easy and straightforward and i'm gonna give you some extra tips you can do to play with this so the first one is you can change your divisions here so you can have different shapes rather than a circle the other thing is that we can get rid of this random gpu and change to a simplex or perlin 3d and now our noise will be uh, very different as you can see from here also we can use the abs time that seconds multiplied by 0.1 and now we have this uh, movement now in this grid remember you can play with all the parameters the better that you want the next thing uh, is that we can copy and paste uh, this noise and uh, attach a null First, uh, this noise we need to be we needs to be monochrome, and we need to change to mono. And uh, this will help us with the scale. So, also you can give it a uh, for first a uh, random value, and export it to the scale up to R and R for both X and Y. The next one is uh, that we can uh, we can also change here like plus 15 so we can have always different seats for all the noises and uh, we can copy and paste this one and change here to rotation and we will drag it to rotate up and rotate c so we can visualize anything right now but here if we change the amplitude we can see that also we start having these um, rotations and uh, remember uh, all of these can be changed to simplex and you can start seeing this uh, uh, in this uh, movement more more like a, a a system and finally you can copy and paste this guy again and uh, here we can put a lookup this uh, lookup needs to be changed to 32 bit float rg rgb sorry and we change here to color so now we go to instance to page and drag it to color up R G and V and finally we can add here a ramp connected to the second input of the lookup we can change here to nearest pixel and now we can start playing with the colors so here is this guy and this guy is here and we can't see anything right now that's because our line is black so we need to change it to white and now and there they are there so remember you can change your divisions um also you can put um different um like colors i think you can start uh like 
from here and here and here and now you will have these uh, like interactions I don't know if here is better to have intercalate pixels mm, no I don't think so maybe here 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 we need amplitude like one yeah sorry that that was the the failure because uh, I copied this one so we can go from 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 and now we can see all the colors we we were putting in this um, ramp so yeah I think that's that's it guys I hope um, you like it uh, remember you can put here any any color you want and yeah that's it the, the tutorial for for this um, uh, this chapter remember this first tutorial will be available uh, for for everyone and the file will be available for my patreon subscribers I want to thank you to all of you so much for your support trust and patience and also the next uh, three variations of this um, sketch will be available but only for uh, patreon subscribers so if you want to know more in deep uh, information of these uh, exercises uh, uh, subscribe so f at least uh, f <coughs> at last um, if you have uh, any comment uh, please leave it on the comment section and i'll see you on the next tutorial goodbye